Welcome back to Sheetwise. Today we are talking about the basic formulas in Excel. It's perfect for beginners. Let's get started. The first formula we are going to learn is the sum function. It's very commonly used and easy to learn. To use the sum function, just click into the cell you want to see the result. Start with the equal sign, sum, brackets, and you can mark the area you want to add up. You want to add up the all sales and press enter. And you see here is the result. If you double click in it, you see the formula and you can also see the formula here in the formula bar. The next formula we will learn is the average formula. You go in the cell average and then you mark everything and close the bracket, enter, and the result is $3,000. Now we look at two other functions, the min and max function. This will show you the highest and lowest value of your figures. So min bracket, just mark everything, and you see it, and for max, we will do the same max, mark everything you need and enter. That's the highest figure and the lowest figure. If you want to see which formula in the cells, you can click on it, but you can also see all in one click. You go on the formulas tab and then on the show formulas and then you see all formulas in your cells. The next function we learn is the count function. Count. Just click in the cell, count, and then mark the area, close the bracket, and it's counted. These are all math functions, but now we look at a few not so mathly functions. We start with concat. So if you want to merge uh, information from different cells, you can use concat concat and then you want to um, link Ford and New York close the bracket and you see Ford and New York this is also possible with this sign just mark Ford and New York and this is the same result but with concat you can easily uh, link and merge uh, much more cells in one uh, function. And now we look at two other functions, the left and right function. So for example, New York. You want to split it into two cells. You go here in the cell, type in left, and the function starts to count from left. And we have to count one, two, three, close the bracket, new, and right, we count from the right, and this is a four, and now you have New York, you split it, the data. And likewise is the mid function. Um, this adds, extracts information from the cell, just type mid, mark the cell, and then we count one, two, three, four, five. Five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And close the bracket. And we got angel from the mid. Let's take a look at the formulas. Formulas show formulas. So these are all formulas. And the best part is you can combine them let's say uh, average. We start with sum, add these areas up, divide with count, and that's the average figure. I think at this point it is very important to talk about relative and absolute functions. So you see this function says sum 
everything bef between d3 and d10. And if we copy this function to column E, we don't have any result because of the function moves with the cell. So here's the function e3 to e10 and it was d3 to d10. You see d3 to d10. This is a relative reference. So if we go in the formula and press f4, you see dollar signs occur. A dollar sign before d and a dollar sign before 3. Um, if we delete the first dollar sign, we only have the 3. Yeah? And we um, just copy it again. Nothing happens. All uh, the same like in the complete relative reference. We go back and we make a dollar sign before the D and now we copy it and C. And so with the dollar signs, you are able to prevent that the function moves with the um, cell. I want to show it in another example. We use the count function, the count function to count <laughs> the employees. So count and then we start in D3 and count to D3 and close the bracket. Yeah, it's one. It's not very surprising. And if we copy it down, it's always one. So in D6 to D6 and D8 to D8 two. But if we um, change the relative reference to uh, absolute reference with d, uh, f4, enter, then we copy it down. You see the formula partly didn't change. Yeah, look at it. Here you see d3 to d10. D10 was a relative reference and D3 is now an absolute reference. And so you can use that to count the employees. So these are the building blocks for more advanced formulas. Just maybe make a screenshot and try it at home. And if you got any question, if you want any other content to explain it better, just leave a comment. So. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.